A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is predicting which side will outfox the other. It's Real Madrid. They take on Milan next on EA TV. <laughs> Nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Real Madrid facing Milan. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Bernard Mendy starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Benedito Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Well, he's a very valued member on this side, talking about Federico Valverde, of course. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, you know he could be subtle, he could be clever, but his greatest strength is his power when he shoots it. A tremendous strike of the ball. Oh, Stewart's a chance! My goodness, that save! Fully stretched he was! One for his own highlights reel. and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back but you do have to ask questions of the keeper could he have done better here I think so you can't be beaten at your near post like that so Real restart the game disappointed to have conceded can they find an equaliser Federico Valverde Rudiger and Valverde. Possession lost by Real Madrid. Rafael Leao. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. With a sick. Really important tackle. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say, and how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? 
Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Tony Kors. This is Kors. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Oh, it's a superb challenge. Very timely. delivery from Tony Kors under pressure here and they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in Kors and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation Nothing came of it. 
but Real won't come closer than that, will they? Can they now create another chance to get that all-important equaliser? Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. And it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. We're back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Federico Valverde. So two minutes to tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially and it is a booking Stuart and we can see that one coming a mile away well he's been warned so no complaints really the half-time whistle just hasn't been able to get going at all has he Jude Bellingham we know he's capable of so much better well as you can see he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas and that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment The ball is rolling again. Rosso Neri having already made a big first half statement here. Is there to be a response in the second half? <laughs> and he takes it on. It was on its way in. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. <laughs> trip back the lead. Oh, a fine block. And a play in a Real Madrid throw-in coming up. Tony Kors. And Bellingham. And defensive play to be applauded. Support here. Can he find the angle? And did just enough defensively. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Vanessa. Giroud. On the ball, Rafael Leal. Could be dangerous. That's a top-class save, I have to say. And there's the delivery. Still dangerous. Hernandez Olivier Giroud Benassa Might be a chance to break Leal Hernandez 
Now with Loftus Cheek. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Rodrigo. Not really the ideal clearance. It is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. challenge well he's not happy is he he just needs to calm himself down here the best of passes finally and into the last 15 minutes of action Real in a good position out wide Mendy it's looking promising Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So the game continues, and that goal puts a different complexion on the match for Real. Pulisic. advantage there Benassa well, that ball looks promising offside quite clearly well, he thought he might have got away with it but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card and the substitution will occur now Fernandez, Mendy. But in the closing phase here, and it's going Milan's way, Stuart. 
Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserve their lead. But they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. of late excitement in this match. Nacho Fernandez and Valverde. Nacho Fernandez. Shuameni. Rudiger has it. Capital. Possession one. Fernandez. Chukweze. On to Giroud. Real chance. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat with that sort of range. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. going to get on the end of it. Well, we're trying to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. and not to be for Real Madrid they have to accept defeat what did you think of their performance as a whole? well Derek, not quite good enough today yes they only lost by one goal but they never felt they were in control of the game a frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time and I don't think Stuart anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch he worked hard, he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal that was an impressive performance today